Tour, and I am very excited to be here today to show you how I'm going to be doing a Christmas entry in my journaling Bible, but it's a very fun day because I am excited to be working with Hillary from Creative Faith & Co. Cuttables. Um, she has a beautiful Instagram uh, feed that I will leave a link down to below. Also, she has an Etsy shop. Um, with printables and other little goodies for Bible journaling. And so I'm going to leave a link to her shop down in the description where you could go. But today I'm going to be using one of her Christmas devotionals and one of my sets from my Etsy shop with my collage arts um, to create a beautiful Christmas entry so that we are preparing room and making room in our hearts for um, Jesus and his birth this Christmas season. So um, one of the first things that I um, want to show you is her devotional set. It comes with five pages of goodies. And so um, you get this devotional that I'm going to actually cut um, apart and keep it in a notebook that I keep different little devotionals in to reference. Um, so you have this beautiful devotional. She talks about preparing him, prepare him room. And she's talking about the lyrics um, from the song, Joy to the World, um, Let Every Heart Prepare Him Room, and um, how it's based off of Psalm 98, and that we need to pause and um, make time to spend with God, um, with Jesus, joyfully this season. And so I love how she says pause, and I'm going to be using that word in my journaling because it just jumped off the page at me. So you get this page of her devotional, and then you have a page with the lyrics to Joy to the World, um, some other little journaling cards here, and then a little snapshot of a hymnal page with Joy to the World. And then you have a little page with different cuttables. You have some of the um, tabs for the top of your page, um, some of the little die cuts, the little musical notes, um, joy, um, two larger journaling cards, and some strips of washi. And then also a page with another journaling card, some little word fetties that you could cut out. And here's the really fun part about this devotional. So you have the devotional and the cutouts and you think, okay, that's it. But look here, she even has a little card for you that says going deeper. And she's got six other ways that you could use this devotional to really dive deep and make time for Jesus and his birth this season. So I love how she included that. That was just like a really fun bonus once I saw it that I loved. Um, so please head over and check out Hillary set. I will have a link, um, like I said, in the description. And then I'm gonna be using her cuttables and fun little die cuts with a set of my collage arts. These are little fun collage arts that I've just printed on um, Avery Clear sticker labels that I'll leave a link to that as well down below. Um, but they are fun because I don't have to pull out paints and get messy when I don't have uh, you know a lot of time. We wanna prepare him room is what we're talking about and pausing. So don't stress that you're not gonna be able to get in your Bible this Christmas um, because these really make it so easy. A lot of People have told me they love these for traveling as well um, because they can just cut these out, put it down, and they don't carry paints and all um, when they're traveling and spending time at families' homes or in a hotel. So that's what I that's what I really love. And so this is my Advent collage art set. There is also an Advent mini collage arts and lots of other goodies for Advent. But this set really um, the colors in it pair perfectly with the colors that Hillary has in her set. And so I wanted to pull this one. Um, as you see, this. This one's kind of cut off. For some reason, my printer just stopped um, in the middle of printing it. It has ink, so I don't know what happened, but um, it would be a larger that would go all the way to the end of the page, um, but it's going to be fine because we can just cut that off there and make it work. But let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to show you a little process of me working through um, using her die cuts and my collage art. And um, also Hillary is on her YouTube channel and she's gonna show us how she's using this, these two sets as well. And so I just love this idea of being able to collaborate with her and um, you know, see what she comes up with. That's kind of what's fun about this Bible drawing community is seeing what other people come up with and using it as um, you know our own inspiration. Uh, so it's going to be fun. I hope you'll head over though once you get done here and see what she's done with it and that will give you um, some more ideas as well. So I am just going to start out by cutting out the um, Joy to the World 
little song lyrics. I kind of have an idea of what I want to do here with um, this page. And these lyrics on these old hymnal pages just really stood out to me. Um, I was raised in a church where we um, sung hymnals and um, had the old red back hymnal books. And so it just really means a lot to me. And it's something that was passed down from my grandparents and our family. Um, so I really love that. Um, she had that in here. So as soon as I saw it, I knew I wanted to use that. So I just got my little paper cutter, trimmed it out real quick, and I'm going to use that. I am working in this illustrating Bible from um, Day Spring and Illustrated Faith. These margins are ginormous. So if you wanted to just stick that down and have your page, you would. I mean, because there's so much space, you're not covering up any of the scripture. So that's one thing that I really, really, really like about this Bible. And so I'm definitely going to use some of my um, collage arts here. And if you can believe it or not, I didn't grab my scissors. How silly. I will be right back. Okay, so now I have my scissors. How cute are these <laughs> for Christmas? Um, but I'm going to cut out some of these collage arts that I want to use. And I um, think I really love this red and green and the pop of color it gives that coordinates really good with what... Um, Hillary has designed in her devotional. And so, um, let me just cut these out. What's really fun about using these collage arts is that you don't have to have the perfect little cuts at all because when you print it on this clear sticker paper, you um, don't see those edges once you put it down in the Bible. And see how large these are. They go great in this Bible and they go great in just a standard Bible as well because it gives you a lot of pack of color without, like I said, having to pull out so much paint. And um, these collage arts have a lot going on in them with paint spotters and the little bubbles that you see and paint drips and all sorts of things like that. And so I guess that's why I really like them is I don't have to pull out a ton of different supplies to be able to use these um, and get that same effect. And I just love that a lot. So I'm gonna actually put that one to the side and just use this page of them. And I'm looking at some other colors maybe that she has as well in her set and what I wanna use. And I think I will use um, part of this one as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and just cut it out. So if you haven't tried using the clear Avery labels, I encourage you to do that with things like this um, because it is one reason why I'm able to spend time in my journaling Bible every day while I'm still um, taking care of an eight-month-old now um, that keeps me very busy. So that's what I like is that these make it where it's quick. Uh, you know, normally it would be great to pull out a lot of supplies sometimes when I just want to get in my Bible and work for, you know, hours, but it just doesn't always happen now and that's okay. All right, so I've got these little things cut, um, and if I wasn't using this, I would use one of these or maybe even could layer it, but I want to save those for another entry. And I'm gonna go ahead, and I loved this little um, cut out here showing the town. I just love that, like a little silhouette type thing. So I'm going to cut that one out. And these you could even print also on um, the clear Avery labels if you wanted to so that you don't have to have this perfect um, cutout of it. But I thought I would um, kind of use my collage arts on the clear labels to um, give color. And then these will just pop right off of them. If I put these on clear labels as well, it would all just kind of mush you know, the colors together and you wouldn't really be able to see it so good. So let me um, just cut this out and then it's gonna pop better once we get it down onto um, the paper. And I'm just doing a rough little cut out of this. It doesn't have to be, you know, just perfect. And I still think it'll look great. These pages in this Bible are also white and so that helps it not stand off so much with the um, cream and make it look as bad. So, all right, let's see. Um, I'm going to sit these little die cuts or work bays aside for now because I know I'm going to probably want to use some of those. I just don't know which ones yet. All right. So here's the fun part. I've got some basic little elements that I want to use. And now I just need to figure out kind of how I want to um, place some of these colors. And so 
let me do that. I love that red there. Um, and then maybe even like, hmm, maybe a little pop of green there, like that. And then we could put maybe this little bit of brown over here. And then I'm thinking I want this, um, the Joy to the World lyrics. Maybe have those kind of coming. Hmm. I'm trying to decide because I like this little part here. And I want to still have room to um, journal. And I like having that down. See, the, the thing about this is you just kind of have to play with it and see what works. Um, and so I think what I may do is have that like that and um, put this down. It's sometimes it's hard knowing because I get very particular and I just don't need to be um, quite so perfectionist, but I think I'm gonna cut this one off here so that it's not taking up as much of the page. And then I'm going to have my little joy to the world. And I may, I was gonna maybe put it down like that and kind of cut it off, but I think I might do something else with it and just clip it on with a little clip. Okay, so that's that. Let's go ahead and put this one over here. So I'm going to kind of measure where I want that at and cut that straight. And see, these collage arts are very large, so you could put use them more than once like I did. I just cut that one off. And so find your place. And what I recommend is that you pull part of the label back First, not the whole thing because once it sticks it's there and there's no going back and um, they're extremely sticky and um, so that's my word of caution to you and I'm not perfect with them sometimes I don't get them straight like this one you can see it got on the binding just a little bit and so I'm going to try to just maybe trim a little bit and if I can't another thing I can do is just snip it like that and that will help it kind of lay down around the coil and we're all good. Okay, and then you can just kind of press it down around it, so that's perfect. All right, now let's get this red one on here and um, sometimes I like to let it hang off a little bit just because it does help um, where you're not seeing that you didn't get it lined up just perfectly straight. So I'm gonna go ahead and I get really nervous sometimes sticking this down because I'm so afraid that I'm going to um, wrinkle it, but I've done it before and there's ways of hiding it. You can put other stickers and alphas down um, and it, it works out fine. So I have just a little bit of some excess sticker at the top that I wanna trim off so it's not sticking to everything. All right, and so while I'm putting this other one down, um, the verse that I am actually going to be focusing on in my journaling, it comes from um, 1 Chronicles 16 and um, verse 27. It's in her devotional, and it says, Splendor and majesty are before him. Strength and joy are in his place. And um, that's one thing she talks about that I really liked in the uh, devotional was that when we prepare and make room, joy is going to show up and it's there. That's what this song is all about. Joy to the world, you know, the Lord is come. And um, it's not always about the parties. It's not about the gifts. It's about really making room for him, remembering why are we even, you know, focusing on, uh, or why do we even spend time on Christmas and celebrate. And um, she just does a really beautiful job of reminding us, um, reminding me that I need to pause and um, make room for him. When you do make room for Jesus, he shows up and um, there's nothing like it. And so if we will just pause and make room for him, he's right there. And um, we don't have to worry or fear that he's not got us because he does and there's joy there he doesn't just help us he gives us joy in that strength that you can't really find anywhere else um so 
I love how she said that. And so when she, when I read this verse and it talks about um, strength and joy are in his place, I knew that I wanted to do my journaling there. So that is what I'm going to do. Now, I just love this little goodie that she included, like I said. And so I'm going to use that one. And I'm going to use my little glue pen here to stick that down. And I think that's what's so fun about these printables um, that she has, the little die cuts, because you can get a page done in no time using um, little tools like this. And so I do get asked a lot, like, how do you keep up with journaling when you have a baby? And how do you spend time every day doing things? And it's this is kind of my secret. I don't... I don't do a lot, um, maybe necessarily originally, of my own with just paints and paint and lettering. A lot of it comes from things like this, and that's okay. Now, the other part that I want to do is pull some stickers that I have um, that I'm just trying to decide what color I want. And what I really want it to say is pause. And I don't know if I want to do it. I may just do it in black and let that pop, um, even though we have some black at the bottom there. But I want it to say um, pause because, and I might do it, let's do it right there. And like I said, she talks about just um, pausing and making room. And so I thought, how fun, I want to use that word as a reminder for me to pause and to make room. So I'm going to use these letters to really emphasize that word of pause. So when I look at this page, I know exactly where my focus should be, and that is on taking time to slow down. And so once I put them down, I like to go around alphas, and like you can see, I kind of messed up on that one, but I like to outline them because I like to have um, that little pop of highlight around it. Just a simple little thing you can do. And so there we have pause. And now I want to go back to um, her set and get some of these little words. And um, I loved the one that she says, um, sing praises. And so let me cut these out real quick. And a fun way to use these that I want to suggest too is if you want to write out a prayer and then put these in the middle of your prayer instead of writing all the words. That's kind of fun to give your prayers um, in your Bible entries a little pop um, of color. I like doing that too. Um, this one's really cute. I like this Yes to Jesus. So she has scripture prompts on here that go great with the devotional and the scriptures that she pulls and has you read as you work through the devotional. And I liked that about her devotional. Sometimes you just have a scripture prompt, but with hers, it was cool because I had a, um, I would read so much of the devotional and then it says, read this verse. And so I would go to my Bible and read it and then it would take me back to the devotional and I could really see um, how each scripture was a part of what she was talking about. And so it made it very easy actually to read through it. Cause sometimes it's overwhelming. You're like, how do I relate all these scriptures? So I appreciate that uh, she did that. That's really, really cool. Now, I just want to decide where I want to put these little goodies that she has. And I really think I just want to put them maybe up here or maybe let's slide them in down here. I think that's what I'll do. And so these little phrases I'm just putting down with a little bit of the um, glue pen makes it so simple. I love this thing. And I just discovered these little planner glue pens recently. And I don't know how I didn't know about them before. Apparently they've been a thing, <laughs> but I just love them. I stumbled across them one day when I was in um, the craft store. So let's see, we have our um, page almost done here. And let's go ahead and get one of these tabs. And I think I'm going to use this one that she has with the um, stars because she talks about in the devotional too that his light being a guiding, um, that star being a guide for the shepherds and the wise men that came. And so 
what's really fun is that the star, she says, um, when you read the Dig Deeper card, talks about um, having that be your kind of guiding light. Um, so I liked that. So I want to keep that kind of as a focus too. So let's go ahead and I think I'm gonna tab over here actually. And I'll tell you why in just a second because I wanna leave room for that other little card. And so I have um, some washi that I'm going to pull to um, put on my tab. And sometimes I don't like the, the full thickness of washi. I will cut it down just so it's not so heavy. And let me, I want to, actually, I'm going to use one of the other word fetties that she has. And I want to put this word up on the top on my tab. So I know this page. And I'm going to put prepare. And that's the other cool thing. Don't be afraid to like chop up the word fetty. Use the parts that you need. Um, if there's something that you want it to say specifically. And so I'm gonna just put prepare. And then for him room, I'm gonna put it down here. Kind of offset it on the page. Perfect, okay. Now this is just about done. And I have some little um, paper clips that I'm going to use, I think, to get this up here. And I'm gonna use this navy, actually, because that's gonna tie in really well. And I think what I wanna do is just clip it, maybe right up here. But before I do, I think what I wanna do is add a little bit of my, um, some of this washi, so that it kinda comes out from behind that when it's clipped in. And I think this is just going to be a really, really fun reminder to celebrate um, joy. And I want to, before I finish, put a little prayer in here. And I want to be reminded this season to pause. And I like the way she said it in her devotional. She says, pause and spend time with you. So help me to remember to pause and spend time with you. Kind of just underline that a little bit. Perfect. And I have a few little stamps here that I want to add just a little final touch. This little star stamp that I have comes from um, a recent devotional kit. So I think, why not? That would be fun because like I said, we were talking about the star being the guide and that guiding um, light. And so I think that would be fun just to add a little bit of that emphasis here on the page. And so that's what I'm gonna do is just add a couple of those little stars here and there, maybe add one over here and that looks good. Maybe just one more down here. Okay, awesome. Then, if we get our date stamp out, and let me check the date. And then I'm going to date it right down here, I believe. And there we have it. Now, I'm gonna take a quick look. I like to go back, look, and see if there's anything that I might have missed that I wanna add. And I'm pretty happy with how this page um, came together. So. I am so glad you guys were here to watch me work through this page. You see, it did not take me very long, um, but make sure you go over and grab your pages, your devotional printables um, from Hillary, and her shop is the Creative Faith and Co. Cuttables, and um, I have a link to it down in the description. As you see, I have made this beautiful page using her um, cutouts, but look how much I still have left that I can use uh, for many more pages to dig deeper into this devotional um, and also 
still more collage arts. I still have a whole sheet that comes in this set that I have not used and more of the ones that I cut out. And so I hope you guys will um, check out these. If you want to get into your Bible this Christmas season, this is a great way to do so. Also, don't forget to head over to Hillary's YouTube channel, which is linked down below and watch the video that she's going to have up showing how she's worked through both of these kits in her Bible. And I just hope that you guys uh, will be encouraged by this. Um, have a wonderful Christmas. If you um, have not started an Advent study, this is a great way to get into your Bible and still be able to study about Jesus' birth um, during this beautiful Christmas season. So have a wonderful day, and I'll see you guys again soon. Bye-bye.